Does anyone know what MHD stands for? Go. Yes, mental health. Well, MHD, mental health dance. And then the C is the challenge. Yeah? So the reason that we've done this dance, we've put this dance together, is to tell you as well that even when you feel very sad, even when you feel afraid, even when you don't understand something, some feelings, those cold and prickly feelings that you're having, that actually the best thing for you to do is to speak to someone. So Cara, why do you think it's so important to discuss uh, mental health and well-being with children? I think it's really important in our school we do take it seriously. Our children are really young, but obviously we want to talk to them about feelings and to recognise the different feelings that they have. We do team lunches once every week, so six children are chosen to eat lunch with their teachers in their classroom. Um, and that's provided a really nice opportunity for them to talk about their well-being, if there's anything that's worrying them. Um, it's been a really sort of effective platform for them. So, um, what did you think about the challenge when Mrs Porter came and introduced it to you and told you about the possibility of us bringing it to school? I thought, what an exciting thing to happen. Um, to get the children active, and um, have that emotional literacy to be able to use their bodies to express it. I thought that was a, an amazing opportunity. Fantastic, and I hear you have a whole wellbeing team here, so obviously mental health is really important. Do you think, um, or some people might say that the age of the children that you have here at school are too young to talk about feelings and mental health. What, what would you say to that? I would say our young children are all about feelings and they express them so freely um, and sometimes you can see that the children, uh, some children may not be able to express those feelings and that's a worry so um, anything we can do to help them um, explore that and explore what's going on for them, it's very important. Let's go this way! And point and way. Woo! Forward. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Step back and point and way. Today we were talking more about um, keeping their minds fit and healthy. Tell me how you build that into the curriculum here at school. So, um, lots of moving uh, with early years, keeping them active, moving around, making sure they're happy. Um, and then as, as we go up to school, keeping them moving but enjoying. PE and outdoor learning. Asa, what did you like about the dance? Um, the time that when it was the end and we done the actual um, thing. Yeah, at the end? Yeah. Dance. What, was your, what was your favourite move? Um, the one where you put her knees up and go like that. Oh, okay. Alright. And what's your name, Sue? Evie. Evie, um, if you had a, a problem, maybe you were feeling sad about something, who would you speak to? Um, I'd speak to an adult or parent. Why is it important to talk to someone? Um, because they can help you feel better and get the bad feelings to go away. Leah, what did you like about today and what did you learn? I, I learned um, I learned about all, when you're sad you could ask someone an adult because they're your mum and dad and they look after you if there's any problems. Tell me Bo, what did you like about today and what did you learn? I learned some a whole dance today and and I think I was actually getting better and better at it because it was a bit hard and I kept on trying it. So everyone, it's with great pleasure that I present the Certificate of Completion to Brooklyn's Infant and Nursery School for successfully completing the MHD Challenge. There you go.